go back to school this week. We've talked about how important it is to make sure your kiddos are eating healthy at lunch, but now there's some concern about how long they're getting to eat. What was once called the lunch hour has been replaced by a 20-minute period to quickly eat if students even get that long. Christina Lori joins us this morning to explain why that concern is growing. Hi, Christina. Hi, Josh and Keeley. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that all students get at least 20 minutes. That's how much they get here at, uh, at uh, local Verona Elementary Schools. Todd Bruner is here. Hi. In the last half hour, we were talking about some of the changes that you made to maximize that 20 minutes. Right. One of them is moving recess before lunch. Mm -hmm. How does that help? Yeah, so here at Sugar Creek, we've moved recess before lunch. It's recommended by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the American Dietetic Association. What it means is children go outside for recess, they run around, they have a great time, and when it's time for lunch, they come in quicker, they are hungrier, there's less waste in the lunchroom, the lunchroom is quieter, and there are actually fewer kids that have behavioral issues in the afternoon or make trips to the nurse because they have eaten great meals. And that change that you made, it helped your school actually win an award. Can you right. talk about that? So we've won war awards here at Sugar Creek Elementary School in Verona from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and from Wisconsin's Department of Education, uh, Department of Instruction. So we have a healthy school committee at our school that looks at ways to make recess, FIED, the lunchroom, and then bring in family engagement, make them all active parts of our school. For example, we have a fun run every September that our PTO does that'll be in a few weeks. A Saturday morning in September, we'll have 600 people outside running with their children. We started something called All School Walks. So a few times a year, kids get off the buses or they get dropped off by their families. They and their parents can join us in a one-mile walk around school. Teachers are cheering. We're having music playing. It really just builds in kids this mentality of taking good care of their bodies. And then in the lunchroom, this little cafeteria here, we serve over 5,000 meals a week. So we really teach kids this is a restaurant. It's one of the largest serving facilities in the city of Verona. And wow. here's how you make it work. Our food is laid out in banquet style for children. We teach them how to make healthy choices with the options offered. We teach them that if they really wanted dessert, they could make the chocolate milk their dessert, or they could drink vanilla milk, white milk, and maybe use a cookie for the dessert. So what we found is kids are eating healthier, they're taking better care of their bodies, and as a school and a principal, I have a school full of well-behaved, well-fed children who are going to lead healthy lives. And establishing those healthy habits young is so important. Thank right. you so much for talking to us this morning, Thank Todd. You. And we want to get out of their way because kids here are going to start funneling in. This is one of the only elementary schools, uh, well, one of the first elementary schools, rather. Sugar Creek was one of the first to offer free breakfast for all of its students as well as lunch, Keely and Josh. Certainly something parents are definitely talking about. Thank you, Christina.